As we come to a close for 2018, all the known Gunpla normal releases has already been announced or has an announcement date. So there's nothing new or any new more surprises coming up for 2018. So we thought we'd do a recap of all the normal Gunpla releases for July to December 2018. And first up, of course, is this uh, you know, Gundam Buildiverse. This is, of course, the Binder Gun accessories, which I've not seen many people buying, to be very frank, even though it's cheap, but yeah, yeah, not many people buying Like that. we've mentioned before, the series is uh, doing so-so. Okay, first up, we have the Bryland. Bryland is uh, the RX-1760 prototype model. This is also a very old-school um, design. It's basically an old kit that has gotten a new re-release, right? There's been some mm -hmm. changes, better, uh, better part separation, not too much tickets as the previous release. But it, unfortunately, yeah. this is not a very popular kit with it's most kind of other modelers. The design is quite weird. I mean, it's not so popular. It's one of the old school designs, yeah. which, which I think most fans should really, you know, uh, give this guy a bit of chance. If you look okay. at some of the old Hobby Japan magazines, you can see how some of the uh, Gunpla builders have customized the Bryland to look really really badass, make it look a lot beefier than you know the actual base design. So that's one thing I say, you know, hey, if you guys want to do something different, do check out the Bryland. It's a new re-release, you know, new design and all together. Okay. All right. Next is this um, nothing new, Haro Happy Hey Hello, which is um, you have all the other colors, so might as well get one of these as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just waiting for someone to actually customize the the yellow Haro into a Pokemon Pikachu. So. <laughs> It's yeah. just a matter of time, so if you guys like see it, do let us know. And of course, next up is of course is the Gunpla or Gunpla Build Fighters, Gunpla Build Divers, sorry, Garol Body Rebake. So mm -hmm. it's a redesign of the you know I'm Better Orphans uh, custom rebake. Yeah. Which if you look at this, yeah, I think a lot of you guys really like the design, but for me, I still prefer the original design that was in the I Am Better Orphans. It's it's pretty uh, bland kind of um, design redesign, I would say. Yeah. So if you guys are getting this, I would love to see your custom design, whether you come up with a you know, gathering finishing, a weathering finishing, or even a matte finishing. I would love to see how you guys actually uh, come up with your design for the Gabadi Rebake. Actually, the release that got me really excited uh, back in July was the Master Grade Chicken, and you will not be able to know why until you actually see this kit in real life. So we actually saw the actual kit in GBWC Malaysia 2018 just a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and I have to say that when you actually see the colours on this kit, wow, that, yeah. that uh, I don't know what you call this colour. It's very close to the anime, I would say, it's that colour. almost yeah. like the anime colours came to life on a real mobile suit kit. So I think if you're going to buy this kit, spray it with a coat of uh, gloss coat, it will look really, really amazing. So mm -hmm. don't take the pictures for granted, you know, do check out the actual kit if you can because I seriously think you know you, you won't see a lot of kits with this color in the Gunpla universe. So it's definitely worth checking it out. One of my favorite release in 2018 is this series, the CS series, the Cross Silhouette series, which well we release RX78, you have the GM fighter, you have Zaku, but the things that they change for this is the whole inner frame makes a huge difference and of course the outer design of this is really nice as you can see you can do a lot of panel lining on it even though it's in an SD form um, it still looks very cool and I've seen uh, some people have done very nice customization on the um, this SDCS version Definitely one of the better looking view diver mobile suit that's come out from the series is of course the Gen Ultron. Um, I will have to say that while I like the overall design, uh, I actually built the kit but I haven't done the review of it. I am kind of disappointed at how small is the actual uh, yeah. gun plug kit itself, it's right? It's like an RG, very small size. Yeah. yeah, actually it seems even smaller in terms of proportion and size compared to an RG. So here's hoping that, you know, uh, Bandai is smart enough to actually make this into a master grade. But of course, hopefully Bandai will not make this into a premium Bandai <laughs> master grade. So yeah, let's, let's fingers crossed. And of course, this kit actually has a lot of, uh, a little bit of few loose parts, which uh, you know, I think if you look at the reviews all over YouTube or maybe you come up with our own uh, video review very soon, you know that nice design overall, but as a gun plug kit, I would give it, you know, 
near 6, 7 out of 10. Yeah. And this is one of the better surprises for 2018. This, of course, is a GM Guard Custom. We spoke about this in the new releases a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. And of course, one of the best things about the GM Guard Custom is that it has a very big shield. The shield is as big <laughs> as the mobile suit itself, right? So, unfortunately, I have not seen a lot of people buying this. Uh, but when you go to Facebook, Facebook pages and groups, Gundam groups, you'll see most of the people actually buying and building this are uh, usually from Japan and Taiwan and Hong Kong, which is quite surprising. Mm. I don't see a lot of other countries actually buying this um, underrated, I would say, GM Guide Custom. I really love the uh, big ass show, so if you guys have gotten this, do let us know. I mean, ob obviously, this is a high grade, so in terms yeah. of size, the GM Guide Custom is quite small. Yeah, maybe it's because of the, maybe the color scheme is not that attractive. August is probably one of the better months for Gunpla releases, especially the normal versions, right? Because we have the Astray no, no Name, name yeah. which is of course one of the highlights of the Gundam Builds uh, Diver series. Because as you guys have already known in my previous video, we don't like the series, right? <laughs> but the only highlights of the entire series was when, you know, Astray No Name actually made his very cool appearance and actually with yeah. a real Gunpla fight instead of a virtual GBN fight. So. And obviously there was a lot of controversy, you know, uh, when this kit was released. Initially, kinda... initially when Bandai first shared the pictures, it was all black. Mm -hmm. But when the uh, actual kit was released, it all changed to maroon. Uh, Brownish. Uh, yeah, yeah, which we didn't like. So if you guys have gotten this, do let us know whether you have changed it to black like some of us did. Yeah. Or have you stuck with the maroon because you think it's more anime accurate. So yeah, overall this kit was great in terms of how it looks, but in terms of possibility articulation, it's one horrible mess. So uh, buy it, but don't pose it too much. Yeah, that's that's our only excuse. So again, uh, for August, the other big release was of course this guy. This is Sazabi. the real great Sazabi, the monster of all real great. It's one of the biggest real great kit. Ever. We actually bought it, but we haven't assembled it because when I first got the box itself, Big Pete, mm -hmm. I was shocked by you know the size of it. Yeah, one of the features is not only the decals, but also like you said, the size is a bit different. I want to see how it fares if it's released with the uh, Wii Gundam. Yeah, and interestingly as well, if you actually bought this Sazabi real great and you feel like hey it, how can I make it look a little bit more interesting there's actually a lot of new third party etching parts to make it look uh, especially those metal parts to make your real great Sazabi stand out so we might be doing a review very soon from uh, Madworks they, they mentioned they're gonna send us some samples for review so if it actually lands on our doorstep we will let you know the next one is also quite a exciting release Right, another CS from the list. So this CS is also, uh, I believe a lot of fans are actually had um, or bought this because... Um, it's one it's, of my favorite mobile suit, it's man. A Zeta, it's man. a Zeta, right? So old school, um, the color scheme is beautiful and you have like two pairs of eyes, the serious eyes and the cute uh, SD eyes. eyes yes. I will have to say, I've seen a lot of uh, SD Zeta before, but this time around the SD CS Zeta Gunpla. It looks the, super the, cool. <laughs> the proportion just seems so much better, it's and nice. with the especially yeah. additional panel lines, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. it just looks so much, so much better. That's, that's all I can say. And the other SDCS release, I think, was really selling very well in August was the RX Zero Maru from the Build Fighter series. Yeah, obviously, man. Yeah. I think Ayame's mobile suit <laughs> was one of the better highlights of the show. The only thing I really, really dislike about this kit is stickers there's so much stickers all the yellow parts the red parts everything is a sticker so it's actually a bloody nightmare um <laughs> if you of if course you... <laughs> if, if you are um so called i mean for your kids you will apply the stickers but for us we will um paint over it yeah yeah um you, you know how bad bandai stickers are so they don't really stick very well so yeah, it need require a little bit of skills uh, to put them really nicely in place yeah so of course the zero maru can transform into a full proper mobile suit with the the falcon and mm. also the SDCS to come up with this great looking uh, mobile suit right so in august there's also not so great releases which didn't really excite us very much that was of course the yeah. double o sky based on the axia mobile suit design mm, this one there's some changes but not very exciting 
Yeah, okay. I would have to say, I think there's some of you who, you know, because of the pure love for the XCI design language, you would have probably gotten this as well. But for us, it was an easy miss. So for me, it's like, you know, buying some plot plates and cut into shapes and paste it on it. Yeah, you're definitely right, BP, yeah. because to be frank, we were not excited on the double sky. We have not seen a lot of entries in GBWC <laughs> as well. So Using this. <laughs> I, I seriously don't think this is a very popular kit. The other release that was really, really shocking from Bandai was mm. this motorcycle. We I had a lot of comments from our fans as well. It's like... Machine rider! Yeah. <laughs> why, why do you need, actually need a bike to ride on anywhere? You yourself pilot a gun them. Right? Yeah. I, I have to say, I mean, maybe if you have some old, you know, those small Kamen Rider Gachapon toys, I think you fit just nice. The scale is just nice for one for four nah, scale. Still no for me. <laughs> but for for Gampla wise, I'm not sure. Maybe some of you are pretty enough to actually buy a few of these and create but your own customized. Yeah, even if it's transformed, into, <laughs> I do not know what form is that. Yeah, yeah. So this this was an easy miss at least for us. Maybe we have not seen the full potential of how to customize this. But for us, the machine rider was uh, yeah. It's, it was an easy miss. We've already mentioned that Double O Sky was pretty bland and ugly and they came out with a higher than sky version yes. so this is really um, yeah i would miss it i mean i, I wouldn't bother to check this out yeah. yeah i guess most of the old gunpla builders such as ourselves uh, really did not dig number one the anime and of course number two the main mobile suit the which design. is the double o sky yeah. in all its different forms so i know we're definitely going to get a lot of uh, yeah. <laughs> you know negative comments about this but seriously we just didn't like this it's only effect design. parts you know it's, it's nothing much yeah I, I guess maybe there's a fatigue in seeing xia parts you know <laughs> after so many years yeah. we have so many master grade xias coming out and having xia in a build fighter series no i love xia but at least they do a decent job in redesigning yeah. or the, with the different versions that they've released yeah but i have to say at least the sky high wings look seems to be very promising <laughs> um, all right you know I, i'm sure by next year gbwc we will see a lot of entries using this yeah the, the wings is a useful item i would say <laughs> September was a okay month, you know, we had some good releases in September but mm. of course, I think the Nodem Raffle was a surprise because the Bandai actually released a separate parts for you to customize your Gunpla creations from the build Diver series. It looks like a bunch of scrap put together. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get a lot of negative comments about that, yeah. And of course, next up is the Dragon Blast Master, uh, the secondary character from the show which Ah, uh, it's, it's a man again for us, man. I, I just didn't dig the design. It looks too simplistic and again, I know that the show was meant for kids but can't the, you know, mobile suit at least be exciting? No, the mix and mesh doesn't fit very well for, for that design. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one was actually quite interesting because when we first saw again another Axia Master Grip, we were excited. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the double Quanta. Surprisingly, at least in Malaysia, a lot of stores have started to slash the price. So I think while a lot of people love the Axia, but I think there are just so many Axia Master Grid already. It's, it's a full saber where you have the big, big air sword, you know, that you can assemble on it. I think I, I might get this or I might not. Yeah. yeah. Given that the initial price it was a little bit steep, but you know, considering that how most of the Gunpla stores in Malaysia have started to slash out the price, so I think at least that, that's, that's good news for us. One of the most exciting releases from 2018 is obviously the High Grade Moon Gundam. And the High Grade Moon Gundam, as you have seen from most of the reviews on YouTube, is a very, very awesome kit. It is almost like a real grade 1.5, I would say. A high grade trying to be a real grade. Yeah. So there's a lot of great moving uh, components, moving gimmicks. I've assembled it but I'm not, not done review yet because I'm supposed to customize it, you know, spray it, give it a matte coat. Uh, but overall, man, it was a very expensive kit but it was well worth it for all the gimmicks that you're getting, especially the stand that comes with the kit itself. Yeah, I think one of the so-called interesting part is this release is unexpected. Yes. Uh, it's from the manga series, yes. right? So a lot of fans were not expecting this to be released as um, you know normal line of the gunpla yeah i mean it's a xeon unit in the gundam form what is there not to like yeah. the only my only disappointment with this kit you know because i built this kit is the fit because the fit is fixed you can't 
uh, move or adjust the feet. So it's sometimes a little bit hard to like balance that. because yeah. of the big, uh, you know, crescent moon that's attached, <laughs> the funnels attached to this guy. But overall, man, this is one of the must-have kits for 2018 for sure. And the next up is Big Pete's favorite kit. Yes, and I've bought this um, unit recently. Um, apart from being excited to get the Yank Doga release, I was also a bit disappointed because it's a Reborn 100 series, which this unit does not have an inner frame build. So it's a normal part-by-part uh, -part build, but overall, I still love the colors and some of the, uh, the shield parts. Um, the colors are really amazing which I will be assembling soon and we'll put up a video of this. Surprisingly, there aren't a lot of stickers. So the good thing is even the uh, logo on the shield for the Yagadoga, Jagadoga is actually a separate part. So yes. you don't actually have to worry about stickers for this Reborn 1100 Yagad or Jagadoga. Now you know we don't really like the Gundam Build Diver series, so <laughs> we don't have great things to say about the design, especially for the yeah. Impulse Gundam Lancer and also the Impulse Gundam Arc. So both of them were released in September at about 2,000 plus yen, so I'm not sure how many of you actually got this. I didn't see a single entry based on these two kits uh, in GBWC as well. And so they, they really look like mere soldiers rather than main characters yeah it, the, the design was very very bland so i would say so one is the, is the um this one is with the impulse blaster the other one is with the lens here so other than that you know being able to combine because obviously we did not finish the anime series because we didn't <laughs> like it yeah but you know if you guys liked it hey you know all the best to you and get these two kids while you can For the month of October was probably one of the biggest months for Gundam Narrative because two of the mobile suits were released in October and the first one is the Gundam Phoenix Unit 3 So, so glossy and shiny <laughs> Yeah, so it's, you know, Destroy Mode is have one of the longest names for a mobile suit and at 5,400 yen actually I think it's quite worth it I know some of you have already, you know, gotten sick of looking at the uh, Unicorn and also the Phoenix design but we love bling bling kits, so maybe that's why I was really attracted to this. Yeah, this will be an exceptional for us to get this as well. Yeah, yeah, I have not actually seen the unboxing, so I'm not sure whether this kit actually has undergate for the runners, so you don't get a lot of nut marks, but for sure, I will be getting this kit very very soon for, you know, for my own collection, because I love kits with gold-plated finishing. Next up is one of uh, our very unexpected releases, this is the yeah. Harupla. This um, uses Haro, Haro itself and the um, combined with the, the ball. Yes. Right? So you get Haro ball. So a bit cheesy, but I kind of like the idea of uh, changing Haro into something more interesting. Yeah, instead of just being a AI assistant, you can <laughs> actually also go to battle with yeah. a cannon on his head, but uh, it's. Yeah, it's a, this is the concept of the ball. So combined with Haro. So it's a cute combination. Yeah. And this is uh, the another release of the SD Gundam CS version, the old Diver Ace. I would say we used to have one old Diver release, but it was pretty bland. This is very interesting. Um, the old Diver Ace has a very unique color scheme on this one. I would say um, you can mix and match also of the weapons of it's just like a normal cs you can combine but the design of this unit is um, unique yeah i mean the the blue on this double o the double ace definitely looks interesting but then again my only disappointment with the sdcs line is that how bandai do not include the cs frame with every single mobile suit release so you actually have to buy the yeah, inner frame yeah. separately so to me that's quite a bummer because every time you buy a mobile suit that you like in sd form you gotta buy another box of the cs in the frame so why can't i just bundle the cs frame i know it's gonna be a little bit more expensive but it's much easier instead of buying two separate kits right um, okay, Love Phantom, this is of course one of the main characters. He's the one that pushed the narrative along for the Gundam Build Diver series. Uh, I would say, you know, it's again a big miss for us. I don't like the color scheme, the weapons, the scythe as well. It looks. Yeah, you you have a scythe with 
laser beam and the one with the metal sword combined together. I don't know what's that for. Yeah, I'm sorry this video is turning to a rant for us. <laughs> but you know, we just don't really, you know, dig all the Bosu designs from the Gundam Build Devil series. So yeah, there's nothing much we're gonna say about this. Well, the Gundam narrative uh, so-called series has brought us another Sinanju. It's called the Sinanju Stein. And uh, instead of red color, you get actually a monochrome color for this. I, I would say I'm still waiting for this uh, for people to show their reviews. Uh, I'm interested to know whether the sleeves, uh, you know those gold or silver parts, um, I hope it's not using stickers because uh, previously the stickers are horrible. And the shield part, the emblem, I hope, I hope it's a separate parts that yeah. they, they, they assemble. Um, I love the beam rifle. Um, apart from that, the whole body design is exactly the same as a Sinanju. Yeah, I think this is definitely the first time we have seen the Sinanju Stein in a high grade form. I don't believe that Sinanju Stein was released in high grade form before. We've only seen the Sinanju, uh, Sinanju Stein in a master grade version car before. So, hey, I think most of the YouTubers have already put up the video recently. So. We shall wait for the kit to actually release on our lab to see whether we like this kit or not. Not much releases in November, but there were some very cool kits that were released in November. And the first one is the GM Intercept Custom. I have to say, the anime like colors looks really, really appealing for some reason, even though it's just a GM. Uh, yeah, um, the design is. A bit too mechanical for me, as I, I think I don't like the color of the purple and the oh, yellow. Okay. You don't like the anime <laughs> actually, colors, but in articulation wise, it looks pretty okay actually, surprisingly for a GM. Yeah. I, I guess you know, possibilities. Yeah, the possibility looks great. I think yeah. Banner has, of course, improved a lot on the high grim 1144 scale. It will kits. be a good kit for, for mods, you know, like to recolor or modify it. I yeah. I, I'm starting to see a lot of uh, Taiwanese and Japanese builders, you know, uh, showing off the uh, Geo Intercept custom. I think they, some of them just really dig the purple and the you know, bland, <laughs> milky yeah. white colors of uh, the Geo Intercept custom. Now, this guy, we actually finally get a chance to see this actual kit in person uh, a few mm -hmm. weeks ago yeah. at the GBWC. I had to say that uh, the pictures here don't really do it justice. So, the finishing on this kit, the Double Sky HWS Heavy Weapon System Transcend Infinity Mode actually looks a lot better in person, the finishing. Yeah, it compared looks to the previous version, which is horrible. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't have the pearl gloss finish, but it looks the finishing looks a little bit like titanium, just a little bit. Yeah. Not, not too bad, actually. Now, this was a surprise to us. This was the uh, GBN Guard frame. Really? So... This guy actually surprisingly looks a lot like Mospedia. I don't know whether you guys remember <laughs> the yeah, old the retro Mospedia. anime. Um, and it comes with two separate helmets as well. One has the normal, almost motorcycle-like helmet. And the other one has a squarish that looks like a, almost, you know, the old Dogram mobile suit. Yeah, so I, this is a very different mix of a GM, a Mospedia, a Dogram. And the interesting part is the feet. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the mechanical fit that looks really, really different on this. One. Yeah. Now, of course, the next release was the high resolution Gundam S3 red frame, and again, we saw this kit at the GBWC 2018. And surprise, surprise, I didn't like it. I mean, I was very disappointed that the red, the red parts of the Gundam S3 red frame, is not actually the metallic red finish. It's not as what you've seen in the picture. Maybe the photography and the lighting makes it all all shiny, right? Yeah. Um, but in real, we have seen it, it. It doesn't really have that high gloss of the metal parts. Yeah. So, I mean, for people who are going to be paying a premium for the high resolution uh, series, they expect to get very cool looking, you know, for the parts. Uh, but obviously for the white parts and also the muscle tones, those looks great, but the red parts for the Gundam S3 red frame looks really, really disappointing. It's just a normal red that you've seen in the normal model kit. So yeah, you gotta see it in real uh, on the display to to see the difference. Yeah, so we will actually give this a miss. I would say I I cannot recommend this because I think the studio pictures does not seem like the actual kit in real life. So if you really love high resolution model in any cost, you know buy this. You know go ahead if you like the the katana and the textured 
you know, shoulder armor for the high resolution model, Gundam Red Frame, go for it. But we didn't like the finishing on the rear at all. So for us, it's it's a miss. Hopefully, Bandai will fix this issue in maybe a, another release. Just like how they released two different versions for the high resolution model, <laughs> Gundam Wing, that was released, uh, you know, uh, early this year. Yeah. So next up is this guy. Also at the GBWC, we have to say this kit was impressive. This is a new entry, uh, narrative Gundam series. I would say they have produced quite a lot of different um, designs. This is very mechanical, uh, very squarish mecha with a lot of blasters. Um, this is really an awesome kit that we love it yeah so if you're gonna buy this kit make sure you have the space because you know together with the uh, cannon the rifles then they should give you the stand uh, <laughs> together with this yeah. kit and of course the narrative Gundam A uh, as well BP I say it, it looks very mechanical because most of the mobile armor the, the armor has been stripped off so mm. we're also wondering hey what is gonna be the next form for the narrative Gundam A this is definitely gonna look a lot more bulky and we can't wait for the anime to actually be released. There's a lot of mechanical and moving gimmicks for this kit, so I think it's going to be a great kit to have. All right. We're almost at the end of the video, so thank you guys for staying with us. And now we're looking at the December releases, and of course, this perfect grid has gotten a lot of mixed reviews. And I think a lot of fans were expecting a different Boba suit to get a perfect grid release, but you know, yeah. Panda gave us again another Axia Gundam 7 Sword slash G. Because we, when we got the news, it's like, oh no, it's Another double O again because recently they just released the uh, the X year last year. Yeah, so it's a little bit too soon for to get another you know double O. Another X year variant. So so right now we have three different X year variants uh, in perfect grade. Mm -hmm. So I think that's enough. Hopefully Bandai will not you know release any more different versions, maybe Transam or whatever. <laughs> so for now, I think most of you will probably be skipping this. I'm very very sure. But of course, the one thing that surprised us was, hey, Bandai finally released the LED units or to be sold separately. Given that how most of the uh, third parties <laughs> in China have yeah. started to sell the LED units separately, and I think a lot of people actually bought the XCR without the LED unit and bought the LED units, uh, the bootleg version, to complement the uh, perfect grid XCR, which I think is a shame. Yeah. yeah. Next up is an interesting series. This one is the Figurous Mechanic Haro. So at Close to 2,000 yen is not exactly cheap, I would say. Uh, I think you really have to be a big ass Haro fan to see a Haro within a Haro to actually buy this guy. Yeah, because the figurized mechanics has the internal parts doesn't show as much. It's just um, the, the skeletal of the machines and that's it, you know. How often do you actually take off the cover and see what's inside? Because Haro itself is just the rounded ball and the arms and the legs and that's it. Yeah, so if you guys are buying this, I'm sure you guys will be customizing it with the LED unit for the eyes. Mm -hmm. But for us, yeah, it's an easy miss. There's too much Haro this year and last year, <laughs> right? Now this one is an interesting release. I mean, it's the, basically the same base unit for the Magnum H2. But this is the SV version, so there's additional parts for the boosters at the back. And also it's recolored with all white and light blue and also grey versions. So we already got the original, you know, uh, Magnum yeah. H2. So it's just so a little minor adjustments or parts that yeah, they provide. So we are definitely, definitely skipping this. And of course the HGBD Mobile Doll Sarah at 2600 yen. I think mm. it, it's, yeah, it's again. It's, it's a mechanic doll. Um, Nothing much design. I uh, I would just skip this actually. Yeah, I think mo most Gunpla builders such as ourselves would not be buying the Mobado Sera at all. Yeah, but the one thing that we are looking for is actually this one. This is the full armor unicorn, real grade. Right. So uh, it will be the pain in the fingers to assemble, <laughs> assemble this. So, so many parts, so little um, tiny bits to put in together. Yeah. So uh, it's a challenging uh, unit. But I would say any fans would just still buy this. Too. So you know, yeah. Big Pete is not a fan of real grey. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, some designs are cool, uh, but the assembly, assembling it will be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Right. So we have another Reborn 1100s, and I'm actually quite happy that the Reborn series is getting a lot of releases. And looking at, again, this is the uh, Gun Easy. The colours looks quite similar to the Jigen, but not actual colors of the Jigen. Jigen, I think the colors would be a lot brighter, but for yeah, me, the RS series, yeah. yeah, I'm just glad that Bandai is releasing all the obscure mobile suit. 
under the Reborn 1100 series. And if you are a fan of the SDCS and the Phoenix series, also called the model, this will be an interesting uh, unit to get. Even though the gold doesn't look as you know chrome or high. I high really gloss. don't like this yellow. Uh, <laughs> but it's cute. The, the it's, yellow it's, looks it's horrible, cute. It's, man. It's like a cartoon, a cartoonized version of it. Um, SD is supposed to be super deformed and cute, but. Yeah, but um, you know how Chrome most Gunpla builders will call this color the puke gold because it's really, really horrible. This, this, yeah, but this, yeah. the blue makes compliments with it, I would say. Yeah, yeah. and maybe of course, not for you. <laughs> I think the blue is probably stickers again, so I, I don't know. But no, no, no. there's clear yeah. parts there. Um, this is one of the uh, quite beautiful, uh, unique VA, I would say, that is being released in uh, Heishi uh, High Grade series, the 12144. Uh, it doesn't look like high grade because the parts and the color, like again, the color that um, the, the pastel blue captures your attention combined with the red and yellow. Uh, I would say this unit is uh, interesting and I don't mind getting this. Yeah, I, obviously, Banner has stepped up their game for the high grade series, so I think it's definitely time for Gunpla Builders to you know look beyond the 1100 scale master grade and also start buying a lot more high grade 1, 144 scale and this is of course the Gundam Shining Break I think this is from the Gundam Build Devil series I don't know where this mobile suit is from but that's it you know this is the final mobile suit that's being announced for December 2018 so we have to say that you know this year while there aren't a lot of master grade releases for 2018 it's still been a good year for some mobile suits like uh, the Moon Gundam, Real Great Sazabi, your Yek favorite, Doga. your favorite Yeager yeah. Doga, and the SDCS series is starting to you know get yeah. some steam running, getting a lot more releases. So I think for 2018 is so far it's been good for normal releases, I would say. So Big Pit, which is one of your favorite releases for this year? Definitely the Yang Doga. Right. So you know. Thank you for watching you know, throughout this video with us and do let us know what was your favorite release for 2018. I think for me it's definitely an easy pick, you know, the Real Great Sazabi and sort of Moon Ganon, those are the two obvious picks. But I think we will come up with a video of our top 10 Gunpla case for 2018 very very soon. So for now, let us know what were your favorite releases for 2018. Thank you guys for watching.